Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here, sat in the Mercedes. Uh, a Friday afternoon uh, at the end of a very busy week. It's, uh, we've had a few problems here in the UK this week with uh, fuel availability. Panic buying and everything else meant that uh, a lot of petrol stations have been out of fuel. So it's been quite an interesting week getting around during the day job, but we've done it. So I'm really pleased about that. And we are getting back to some sense of normality now, finally. So that's all good. Um, yeah, just sort of check in with you this week. We had an email in, um, interestingly, from a guy called Kevin uh, a couple of weeks back and uh, sent us a whole load of photographs of his Triumph Stag. Uh, it's one that he's brought in from the US, from a, a Texas, I believe. It's all certificated and he's got all the evidence and the documentation that goes with it. Um, has stripped it down and uh, basically started to rebuild it. And I'll share with you the story of what he's done. He sent in a whole load of photos, as I say, so I'll walk you through all of that and then maybe catch up with you at the very end. So let's go and have a look and see what he's been up to. So meet Kevin Griffin. He's had a lifetime in the motor industry and uh, served as apprenticeship back uh, in the day in Coventry uh, for the Roots Group and comes from a generation of motor mechanics, actually runs his own garage now as well. Um, and he bought this left-hand drive Mark I Stag from Texas in USA some time back and made it his mission to restore it from scratch and as you can see here uh, it's fairly dusty but pretty solid example there's absolutely no rust on the car at all and he decided that it would be wise to uh, take it right back down to kind of bare nuts and bolts as you can see the engine itself uh, although solid is a little bit rusty and a bit manky in places but otherwise it was okay and a solid car and um, various bits and pieces came with the uh, motor as well but the key thing uh, Kevin was saying is there's no rust on this car at all. The interior very much uh, kind of biscuity brown uh, colour with the Mark 1 head restraints you can see there but as I say it's a left hand drive uh, automatic car and uh, totally original throughout and uh, when he got it as he said he was very excited to to get his teeth stuck into this. Um, it's actually got air conditioning as well this model and uh, that's pretty rare uh, for the UK cars as we know but um, with only a few thousand miles on the clock as you can see uh, looked a solid example and but for a bit of dust and a bit of muck actually uh, is likely to um, was likely to buff up quite well and so as I say Kevin made it his mission to take a really good look at the car wire wheels to boot so a really nice example and um, wanted to to really work on it and uh, get it back to some pristine condition and as I say Quite a few bits and pieces came with the car, but he made it uh, a point that he was going to take it right back to bare bones and start from scratch with a shot blast and uh, started to look at how he could get the engine out and everything out such that uh, it would come together slowly but surely over many months. And as you can see here, he's been working on it solidly for a little while now, but the body looks straight and looks true and looks, um, well, up together which is the panel fit looks really good as well and I think you can see here just how um, original the car is and uh, yeah he's been flat out on it for many months now he's used one or two experts to help him put it all together and as Kevin says he's wanted to do the restoration of this car properly all the way throughout and I think that is a credit to him he did invest in an engine rebuild and you'll see later just what five thousand pounds worth of um, an engineering specialist can do in terms of refurbishing the engine we can see here the body shell uh, is absolutely immaculate and um, coming back home to be uh, refitted uh, he started to make some inroads as you can see you've got the wiring loom in there the uh, steering rack and the um, I think that's a cross member there as well so be things beginning to go back in uh, brake servo and um, wiper motor by the looks of it bulkhead and also he's made a point of putting the heater matrix in and pressure testing it to make sure it complies and it works well because obviously that's quite a big job if it's not uh, not correct so matrix is all sound and uh, the aircon system is ready to be plumbed in um, for whoever wants to take it on in the future and therein is the challenge I guess he's got to a certain point now where he feels he's given it as much time as he can and would like someone else to pick it up as a project um, and uh, see how he can get it back on the road the suspension's all been redone as you can see here they've got the hub there for the the wire wheels um, you've got uh, the uh, kind of stone chips underneath all done rear wheels and suspension all renewed and replaced it's a, a very very good job throughout and as I say the engine itself uh, timing chains new uh, jack shaft socket there and um, new uh, kind of overhead cam 
cogs and whatever it's um, really been gone through almost you could eat your dinner off it i think it's that clean it looks going to look immaculate back in the car so it's all in component pieces at the moment and uh, kevin's really looking for someone to take it on from him uh, it will make a great project it owes him a few thousand pounds as you'd expect but is open to discussion uh, if anybody's out there who wants it and is interested then um, he'll be very happy to have a conversation with you offline from the channel of course about how you might go forward with it but it uh, looks like a solid project and uh, I commend it to the house of Ari the Stag. Well done, Kevin. Fantastic job. And uh, let's see if anybody would like to pick up the challenge. Happy days. OK, well, I hope you uh, found that interesting. Kevin's done a sterling job on uh, the rebuild so far. Therein is the challenge. He's a busy man. He's got his own garage and um, lots of other priorities. So he's kind of flying a bit of a kite out there, folks. Um, obviously, he's on a track to rebuild it and refettle it and whatever. Uh, you can see that no expense has been spared in terms of uh, outsourcing uh, engine jobs and getting paint uh, done and all of that. However, uh, if there is somebody out there who'd be interested in picking it up, he says, he'd be very happy to talk with you. Uh, so I'm saying nothing uh, other than that. Um, if you fancy it, I can introduce you to Kevin to have a conversation and uh, we go from there maybe to see what happens. But certainly, uh, last I heard from him, I'll just have to read from his... Um, uh, update but he's got the car back on its wheels as you saw um, and put into storage for now uh, the engine and gearbox are ready to refit after full rebuild so you know you get, uh, you're getting some good quality there and um, yeah as he as he says he might well consider selling as he is struggling to get it finished with other priorities that's uh, that's going on such a shame as it will be an amazing car for somebody um, it is left-hand drive of course and that may suit some and uh, he's obviously spent quite a few grand on it already uh, inevitably if you're going to get quality you have to invest in quality we know but uh, anyway just uh, whatever happens it's good to uh, see Kevin's work well done Kevin for a brilliant job um, some fantastic progress to date with the car uh, all the components are there I think it's just really uh, for someone to pull it all that together if that's uh, if that's the way it goes but uh, let us know and we'll put you in touch with Kevin if you're interested there you go cool okay well that's about it from Ari the Stag this week guys thanks very much for following and sharing uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe always like a few thumbs up uh, does us uh, a lot of good that does uh, and also on a Saturday we're getting some great reviews on our Saturday sockets emails it's all about off-camera shenanigans we get up to so sign up for that um, i'll put the thing on the screen that you can see where to go and of course uh, as ever we do the ari the stag badge of honor it's a sticker you can put on your windscreen uh, to show everybody that you're sharing the classic stream and we'll happily send you that anywhere in the world free of charge so uh, all you've got to do is go to our website look for the badge of honor page and go there and uh, we'll get the message and send it to you so all good brilliant Okay, well, have a great week, guys. Uh, here we are in October already. Where did this year go? Uh, lots of exciting times ahead, I'm sure. And uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. Cheers for now. Bye.